<clears throat> okay, I was just sworn at by a manager that calls himself Spaguto, um, general manager at store number uh, 3730 at 413A Park Avenue, Worcester, Massachusetts. I'm going to attempt to call again. He threatened to call the police on me when I've asked him to spell his name. He told me that he would not spell it for me. So we're going to find out if he answers again. Here, I'm calling the number. Thank you. Yes, may I please speak with Spaguto? Yeah, no problem. Please hold. Thank you. Yes. Spaguto. Yes. My friend. Um, listen, I asked you if you could give me the number to the corporate office because I'd like to get this straightened out. Sure. The number, we don't have the number. Usually uh, you can contact them by email, but you can find in a Google, in the Internet, maybe they have some phone number over there. Okay. Can you do me a but favor we have, still? We don't have the number. Can you spell your name, Spaguto? Sure. P-A-G-O-T-O. -O. Okay. Thank you. I really appreciate that because in the previous you. calls, you were swearing at me. Do you still feel like swearing at me? I swear at you. Okay. No, no, you're lying. Okay. I have that on recording. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. I just... All right. And what, what was it that you said that I couldn't say, Agupa? Yeah. You can't say fuck to nobody. I nobody cannot. Can talk to you here. Okay. So nobody want no like I said, do you have a ID number? No, I don't have ID number. I you, have just my name and the title. You can say general manager. Okay, I can say general manager. Okay. Now this is four thirteen A Park Avenue, correct? Correct. Okay, that's what I thought. So in other words, you don't have the number to corporate so I can get my fourteen dollars and sixty seven cents back that was taken off my card? I don't know. I don't know if somebody gets from your card. Okay, well, I, I have know, proof. I don't know. You sure somebody got the money from you? Oh, I'm positive. I read it. I read to you on the yeah, earlier you conversation. Maybe you're a lawyer, go in the dominoes. I don't know. Do something. I don't know. I, I can't help you here. Okay. You don't have how to prove to me. Okay? I'm sorry. I don't have what? How to prove. I don't have your order here. Right, and we have we have come to that understanding but the thing is, is I, I really need customer service here, and I don't feel like I'm getting it. Yeah, you don't I feel, deserve it. I'm sorry, you did you say it. I don't deserve it? Yeah, no. I don't deserve and good you, customer service? Somebody to help you. And we start saying bad things, you don't deserve to be listened. Oh, I don't deserve to be listened to, but I'm a customer, and I have been so a customer of you guys just for a long time. People. Before that, learn. Learn your life, how to treat the people, and after that, you can like <laughs> So am I being mean to you right now? All right. How can I help you? I have to, a lot of things to do. Okay. I understand this, and I'm asking you, you work for Domino's. You're a general manager, and you're telling me that if there's a major problem, you don't have the number to corporate. No, I don't have it. Okay. Well, I found out that no matter where I worked, you can, we had the number to corporate. Online. You can, uh, or uh, when, you wanna, when you order online, you can see a place over there. You can enter in contact by email. Well, see, the thing is, is like I said, I, I really don't feel like I'm getting the customer service that I deserve. I have yeah, been a customer. Then, then explain to them what you did, what you said. Okay, what I did. It doesn't matter what I did or what I said. The customer is always right. Rule of thumb. <laughs> and I'm not one day, not one day said. Fuck you, fuck you, that, fuck you, that. When the person said that, like you said, you don't deserve it, nothing. I don't deserve nothing. I've been a paying customer there for a long what time, for years. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't have any order from you here. Okay. Well, I've been a paying customer there for many years, and I think I deserve customer service. And I'm asking you, can you, you do me a favor? I Even if you have a problem, you go here, not sweat and butter. I have not sworn at all. Okay. I have not sworn at all. I've been okay. nice this whole call. In another thing? I've asked you for the number of... To corporate. Okay, it is now currently 9 11 p.m. This man, this is my third call to the store. He's sworn at me every single call. 
Um, he finally gave me the spelling of his name because I asked him for the spelling of his name before, and he spelt it P-A-G-O-T-O. He says he does not have an ID number. As you hear, he states that he's the general manager. Um, $14.67 was taken off card number 4750-1306-5144-5388, and that was on August, and the expiration is August 12th. Um, according to general manager Pagato, I was not a very nice customer. I've been a customer of this store right here. 413A Park Avenue in Worcester, Massachusetts, with phone number 508-754-2236 for a very long time now. I do, um, I do want to, uh, I did advise him in the other call that he has been recorded. I just actually happened to forget to press record the previous time. Um, I am actually going to show proof here. That on that on tonight, um, that Domino's has taken has taken the money off of my card. Um, General Manager Spagato states that I do not deserve good customer service, um, and I'm you know I'm very very unhappy about that. I will be taking now. This is my card number, my card information, my account. Here's the web address that I'm going to. My name is Michelle Spooner. I'm going to look at the card activity here, and I'm going to show you right here that on May 6, 2012, at 7.46 p.m., which is uh, Central Standard Time, according to the website, here is the charge of $14, and I'm going to scroll over here. They took $14.67 off of my card. This man refuses to help me get corporate's number. Um, I think this was the most awful customer service ever. Uh, that was the third call that I was hung up on and swore at. Um, that was actually a nice call in the beginning compared to how I was treated before. So I would like to take legal action on this man. This man threatened in the other call to call the police on me. Um, I feel like I was completely wrong. Thank you and have a nice day.